Hello, XMN Legacy here, and welcome back to my modding series on which I show you guys how to mod Fable Anniversary using Fable Explorer. In the previous episode, I show you guys how to remove the age from the game so that you can get rid of your pesky white hair and wrinkles as you well, get a good alignment in the game. And in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of these pesky blue lines. Now, each of these is set up to be individual tutorials where you can go in and remove specific things that you do not want. So if you guys want to remove age, check out that last video, but make sure to come back and check this one out because I'm sure you don't like these lines to begin with. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Just like in the last tutorial, you're just going to need a few things. You're going to need Fable Explorer. You're going to need a file from Fable TLC and you're going to need Fable Anniversary installed. Now, if you already have the file from TLC, you can skip ahead in the video, and if you don't, you can continue watching from here. So inside of Fable TLC or Fable The Lost Chapters folder, you're going to want to go to Data, Graphics, and then PC, and you're going to want to copy the textures.big file. You're going to want to go into the Fable Anniversary folder, Go to Wellington Game, Fable Data, Build, Data, Compiled Defs, Development, and then in this folder, you're just going to want to paste it just so that we have a copy of it for later. Now, I already had it in there, that's why it said I replaced it. Next, you're going to want to open up Fable Explorer, and this is where the magic happens. Inside Fable Explorer, you're going to want to hit Open. And then you're going to want to find inside the Fable Anniversary folder, the Compiled Defs Development folder. If you don't remember how to get there, we just showed you. Inside of Fable Anniversary, you go to Wellington, Fable Data, Build, Data, Compiled Defs, Development. And then inside this folder, you're going to want to open up three files. You're going to want to click down here, hit bin, go open games.bin, or names.bin, I mean. Next, you're going to want to open game.bin. And lastly, in this tutorial, you're going to need textures.big. Now, similar to my last tutorial, you're going to want to open up game.bin, which should be the second one. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find creatures. Once you've found creatures, Scroll down inside that one until you find 1,470, or Creature Hero. You're going to want to open up that one. Click on Creatures. Once this populates, scroll down until you see C, Hero, Morph, Def, and then open up links to Game, Bin, Entry, ID. This one you're going to want to expand again. Click on the plus, and then click on Texture Morphs. Once this populates, you should see 156 right here and right here. If you just removed your age, then it should say 81 or about that. Now, to start removing your will markers, you're going to want to scroll down until you find something that says will. Once you find stuff that says will, you're going to want to start deleting it. Once you are sure that you have deleted every entry inside here that says will, you should have around 74 entries if you already edited your age out and about 149 entries left in here if you did not disable age. Now, once you've completed this, again, you can just hit apply changes and then you can right click on the game.bin. Make sure it says game.bin. I'm only doing, I'm only right clicking the middle one because I opened them in that order. So the middle one is game.bin. You want to right click save as. I'm actually going to save this as age and will to let myself know that I disabled age and will. Now let's save that quick. And then I'm also going to save this as game.bin so that I can start up the game. So once you've done that, start up Fable. Once you're back in game, you'll notice that the will markers are gone. And if you also did the age one, your age will also be gone. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner without the will markers. Now, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. If you guys want to see any more videos like this in the future, 
please leave comments in the description below and I will be sure to see what I can do to accommodate that. Now in the next one, I'll be showing you guys how to make it so that your hair stays black, regardless of if you're good, evil or not. See you guys next time. Bye.